Hello human, thank you for being on the channel. I want you to click the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. A secret government agency recruits some of the most dangerous incarcerated supervillains to form a defensive task force. Their mission is to save the world from the apocalypse. This movie has a stacked cast, a lot of talent. And uh, for me, I think the three standouts in this movie is Will Smith as Deadshot, Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn, and Viola Davis as Amanda Waller. Everybody else, they either are right or they fucking suck. And uh, we've seen Harley Quinn at this point multiple times in the DCEU with different outfits. I like this outfit the best. You know, her and her little underwear with the jacket and the baseball bat and the pigtails. She looks hot as fuck like this. I don't know if we're ever going to see her like this again. But um, I like this look the best. These uh, criminals, these super villains, Amanda Waller rounds them up and goes, you know what? Y'all can get some time off your sentences if you go on this mission, say the world. Task Force X, the Suicide Squad. Now, y'all don't matter. So if you fuck with me, you do the wrong thing, well, there's a little tiny explosive in the back of your fucking head. You do, you so much as sneeze the wrong way. I'm going to blow your motherfucking head off. So of course these super villains, as crazy as they are, they're not trying to die. So of course they're going to do what they can to make Amanda Waller happy, to save the world. Uh, not because they're heroes, but because they're like, if I, can get, if I can get some time off my sentence, then that's good. Because that means I can get back out there on the streets and do what I do best, which is cause trouble and fuck some shit up. But at the same time, they're going on this mission, so they might die. Or, you know, maybe they want to go in to a store and get a jacket or something like that. And Amanda Waller's like, you, you're straying away from the mission. You're stranded with head gone, blown up, done, dead, right? We see Jared Leto in this movie as the Joker. It's interesting speaking on him because recently I saw him in Zack Snyder's Justice League and he was absolutely fantastic as the Joker. In this movie as a Joker, not so much. I feel like the way he looks is stupid. I'm like, why he got him tattoos and a grill and shit? I didn't like that. The look of him, that shit looks stupid to me. The way that he was acting as the character did not work for me. I feel like it's okay in the context of this movie, but nothing special. And I'm definitely not a fan of his laugh. But uh, shout out to Jared Leto because with the, uh, the guiding hands of Zack Snyder, he definitely killed it as the Joker in the context of Zack Snyder's Justice League. It's just too bad uh, we got a mediocre, weak-ass performance uh, from Mr. Leto as Joker in the context of this movie. And I'm just talking about this. I'm not talking about no air cut and all this shit that we don't know about. I'm talking about what we, what we got to see in this film. And then we see, uh, you know, just, of course, these different members of the Suicide Squad. I mean, the roster has been crazy over the years, if you know anything about the Suicide Squad comics, you've had all sorts of different villains on the team. They got a mission, they do what they're told, they get a little time, cut off their sentences, or they die out there on the mission, or if they disobey Amanda Waller, they get their motherfucking heads blown off. And uh, in order to save the world, the uh, Suicide Squad, they got to go up against um, Enchantress. And Enchantress, she looks really cool. Like, there's some awesome stuff that they do with her with the CGI. But I felt like the plot, them going up against her was a mistake. And it felt underwhelming. It felt generic. It should have been the Suicide Squad going after the Joker. That would have made more sense. I think that would have made for a better film. It would have made for... You know, an epic film, because while the Enchantress is uh, 
just infinitely more powerful than the Joker. It's just the Joker is a better villain. And I think they made a mistake here. On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being horseshit on a hot, smelly-ass day, and 10 being mind-blowingly amazing, I'm going to have to give this movie a 6 out of 10. It's not the worst comic book movie I've seen. I enjoyed it, but the film has a lot of mistakes. I can see why a lot of humans didn't enjoy the film. But there are some humans that enjoyed the film. I enjoyed it despite all the flaws that that is in this movie. This movie costs $175 million to make. It made $746.8 million at the box office. So when you hear humans say that this movie failed financially, that is terribly terribly misleading how the fuck is that if you got a budget of 175 million and your movie makes 746.8 million that's a financial success now somebody might go well the film didn't make a billion dollars well most movies don't make a billion dollars in fact not every single mcu movie made a billion dollars so i feel like you know Bringing that sort of uh, focus point into the conversation is a bit silly. Now, the studio might be like, damn, I wish this movie would have made a billion, but you're talking about a financial success. It's just that the way that a lot of humans feel about the movie is where it falls into the failure category, unfortunately. You had a lot of humans turn out for the movie. And if more humans would have liked the film, then it would have made a billion dollars. You know what I'm saying? Word of mouth. So um, I like the look of the movie, you know, like the visuals and stuff. You know, the movie looks nice, but I feel it was lacking substance. And just from a a creative standpoint, you know, you picked the wrong villain. the, The story didn't flow smoothly. It just there was too many mistakes in this movie. Like, why would you not have? The Suicide Squad go up against the Joker. It just makes sense. It's a way to to make the Joker look even better than he already is. It's it's a way to get more individuals to watch your film. Enchantress is cool, but I'm like, man, we ain't trying to see no fucking Enchantress. Why didn't you put the Joker up in this motherfucker for a longer period of time? He should have been the main villain, not no motherfucking Enchantress. I'm just saying. Now... Am I against seeing Enchantress? No, I just think that you you should have gone with the Joker. So David Ayer, I don't know what you were trying to do and how much the studio interfered, but uh, this ain't it right here. I enjoyed it, but I got to be fair regardless of how much I like DC. This movie got a lot of mistakes in it. It should have been better, but I'm not mad at it, though. I don't hate the movie. I did in a, uh, I did enjoy it despite the mess of a film that it is. Thank you for being here, human. I want you to like this video, share it with your family, your friends, whatever humans you may know. You punch the shit out of the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. Terrence out.